Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about list comprehensions in Python. A list comprehension is a great feature of Python and allows us to create new lists on the fly from existing lists. In addition, it's very succinct and very powerful. Let's get started. Here we've got a list of numbers and I want to end up with these numbers but multiplied by two. So I'll say something like doubled equal empty list. How do we put each of these numbers multiplied by two into this new list? Traditionally, and in most languages, you would end up doing something like for num in numbers, and then you would do doubled dot append num times two. This is quite a long piece of code just for creating a new list of doubled numbers, but this is how you do it normally. You would iterate over the numbers list, create a new variable for each of the numbers in it, and then run through it three times, each time putting the appropriate number multiplied by two into your new list. Python has a much more succinct way of doing this, which is with a list comprehension. In a list comprehension, the order of these operations, first the iteration and then the appending, seems to be reversed, but it's not really. So the first thing you do is you would put in what you want to add to your new list, which is num times two. But of course, num doesn't exist in this context. It only existed here because we've got our for loop. So the next thing you do is you put your for loop. And what this does in Python is it puts num times two into a new list for every num in the numbers list. So essentially you're iterating over the numbers list and you're putting the variable multiplied by two every time that the loop runs into your new list. You end up with the doubled numbers. Because list comprehensions are usually in a single line, you do wanna keep them short if you can. So instead of num times two, for example, in this case, you could do x times two and for x in numbers. That just helps you keep it a little bit shorter and a little bit more readable. After all, the most important thing here is that you're putting x times two into your new list while you iterate over the previous list. So again, to recap, how you build a list comprehension is what you wanna put into your new list for the variable that you're using in numbers. Now, let's say you've got a friends list and you wanna create a new list which contains the names of those friends that start with an S. So Sam, Samantha, and Sarab. But it seems that a list comprehension may not be the tool for this job. After all, you do need to only get some of these out. Let's start with a for loop, and then I'll show you how the list comprehension can deal with it. So you would do for friend in friends. Then you would add an if statement to check that the friend name in question starts with an S. You, you can say if friend dot starts with capital S, then you're gonna do starts S dot append friend. And then at the end, we're gonna print starts s like that let me run this and show you what happens down here you have sam samantha and saurab and i think i'm not pronouncing that right so my apologies if that's the case so what we've got is a for loop and then an if statement and then an append this structure here can also be reproduced with a list comprehension although it does start to get a little bit more confusing again the process is more or less the same. First of all, you put what you wanna add to your new list, so that's your friend name. Then you put your iteration or your for loop for friend in friends. And now if you wanna add an if statement, you do it at the end. So you're gonna add your friend for the friend in your list if the friend starts with S. And that does exactly the same thing and you no longer need that loop there. So you can save that and run it again and you see that the same thing comes out. So this is how you add a conditional, an if statement, into a list comprehension. It's very important to notice that when you use a list comprehension, a new list is created. So even though these two lists may be the same if we take these names out, so now these two lists will be the same. If we print them both out, you'll see that they are both identical. 
when you print friends is starts s you'll see that false comes out that's because these two lists although they have the same contents are not the same list they are two different lists two different places in your computer's memory with the same values for context friends zero is starts as zero so sam is sam will give you true see that but the lists themselves are not the same so the elements inside them are the same but the lists themselves are not the same and by using the is keyword then you can check that but there's also something else you can do which is check the ids of these lists so you can do something like uh, friends and then print out the ID of friends and then starts s and print the ID of starts s and what I've done here by the way is I have passed multiple different things to the print function and you can do that in print and it just separates them with a space so it's going to separate these different parts with the space the different arguments there so by running this you get that friends has an ID of this ends in 2096 and starts as has an id that ends in 5280 so these two have different ids and in c python which is what most of you will be using certainly what i'm using the id is related to the memory address in which the list is stored so you can see that these two things are in different places in memory they're different objects entirely uh, they just happen to have the same contents so this is something that will be very important as we proceed with the course so this is why i wanted to show it to you at this point creating new lists gives you a different thing entirely in python it's not the same as the thing before even if it has the same contents but as i mentioned earlier if you do want them to be the same exact list then you can do this starts as equal friends and now when you press play you'll see that you get true and these ids are identical so that is how you make two lists the same thing Otherwise, you do end up with two different lists. All right, that's enough of that. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope it's been useful, and I'll see you in the next one.